All right. Shalom, Yasharala. This is the GMS North Carolina, North Carolina Raleigh Camp. Collaboration once again. And I'm Brother Naquan. Brother Reza. All right. Before we get started with this lesson, we want to give all honor and glory and praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. We still got there to the Howards and Bowers and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And peace, blessings, and safety, and mercy to the doctors out there pushing the truth in the four corners of the earth. All right. So without further ado, this lesson is going to be on. Uh, let's see if these idols are going to save you, man. You know, because uh, our, our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians seem to put their trust in everything besides Yahweh by Shimei Shah, man. So when that day that, yeah, that that affliction comes your way, let's see if the other guys will save you, man. You know? Mm -hmm. And you confusion of faces. Can I? You got something? Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Can I? This is Judge chapter 10, verse 13. Mm -hmm. Yet ye have forsaken me mm -hmm. and served other gods. Right, see, and this is talking about the Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. One thing that our people always constantly do is forsake your by Shimei and Shah and serve other gods, man. And and the, and the result of, of idolatry, man, is always got us into captivity, man. Or, or God, our people put to death, man. You know? Our reason, our people want to know the reason why they're in the predicament that they're in today. Well, hey, read the scriptures, man. You know, what what our people did back then and what you're doing now. You know? Okay. Read on, brother. Okay. Okay, go on, go on. This is um real quick. Since mm -hmm. This is Exodus twenty two and twenty. Mm -hmm. He that sacrifices unto any god, mm -hmm. save unto the Lord only, mm -hmm. he shall be utterly destroyed. Right, and that word "save" man is "sup" man. You know, so if you sacrifice on the other gods, man, you know, you are gonna be put to death, man, because that's idolatry, yo. You know, and once again, that's talking about the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, man. You want to know why you always get put to death? Well, because you're serving other gods, man. And that's the first commandment. Matter of fact, you can grab that in Exodus 20 chapter in the first verse. Yeah. You know, let's see what the first main commandment is of the Lord, man, that he gave to Moses. Yeah, this is Exodus chapter 20, verse 1. Yep. And Yahweh spake all these words, saying, mm -hmm. I am the Lord Yahweh, thy power. Which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Right. See, Yahweh is the one that delivered us out of the uh, the, the Egyptians, man. Mm -hmm. Out of the hand of the Egyptians. Not Buddha, not Allah, and certainly not that doggone golden calf that they built it, man. Yahweh by Shimei Shah did, you know? Yep. Out of the house of bondage, mm -hmm. thou shall have no other gods before me. <laughs> right. See, that? thou shall have no other gods before the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Shah, man. So when you're serving Buddha, when you're serving Allah, or even when you're serving yourself, man, that's idolatry, man. That is a uh, spiritual adultery. That's what you call fornication right there, man. You know, these, these Christians don't know the meaning of that word fornication. Pretty much fornication means uh, idolatry, man. You know, ultimately, uh, 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 adultery, spiritual adultery, man. You know? Okay. Those uh, Egyptians, false idols, they couldn't, you know, mm -hmm. save. Yeah, the Egypt, the Pharaoh's gods couldn't save them out of right. the hands of the Lord, you know? Right. This is real quick. This is Exodus chapter, you know, a lot of Exodus today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start verse 10. Exodus 18 and 10. And, Je and, Je and Jethro mm -hmm. said, Blessed be Yahweh, who have delivered you out of the hand of the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. And who is the modern day Egyptians? You know, the so-called white men. Esau, Edom, according to the Bible. Starting off with the elites. Yep. Out of the hand of the Egyptians and out of the hand of Pharaoh, who have delivered the people from under the hands of the Egyptians, now I know that Yahweh by Shemal Shai is greater than all gods. Right, because see, only Yahweh by Shemal Shai, which is the creator of the heaven and the earth, the God of the Bible, the only true living powers, man, are the only ones that could do something so great. Because think about it Yahweh by Shemal Shai delivered us. The whole nation out of Egypt, man, through crossing the Red Sea, man. You know, what What other entity that you know that, that did that for their people, man? You know? And when the, when the Egyptians were uh, pursuing us, pursuing after us, man, the Lord caused the oceans on both sides to swallow them up. You know? That's right. Exodus 18 11. Now I know that the Lord is greater than all gods. Yep. 
For in the thing wherein they dwelt proudly, he was above them. Right, because Yah by Shema is the only true living power, man. You know, he's the creator. He, he's the creator of the heavens and the earth, man. These other nations' idols are nothing but handcrafted, uh, man-made, uh, objects, man. Statues. Yeah. You know, they can't eat. They can't talk. They can't walk. You know, they can't put demons on you. Mm -hmm. They can't put you to death, man. You know, they don't even strike fear in you, man. You know? That's right. They don't do anything. Right. And if they do type of some type of fear in you, it's because they're ugly. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, they're creepy. Yeah. 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 It's like a Baphomet, man. You know, that thing is ugly, man. Whoever came up with that entity, man. Mm -hmm. This is Isaiah 45 and 7. Yeah. I form the light mm -hmm. and create darkness. Right. I make peace and create evil. Yep. I, the Lord, do all these things. Right. So, Yahweh Shemal Shah is the one that he can give you the knowledge. And Yahweh Shemal Shah is the only one that can bug you the hell out, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Because the night, the, the light also represents the, uh, the knowledge, man. You know? And darkness represents the wickedness, man. Blindness, you know? Iniquity. And the Lord is creating peace. And the Lord can uh, create uh, evil, man. Which is bad times, man. The bad times that's about to come here in America, man. Yahweh Shemal Shah is the one that's bringing that, man. Not Buddha, not Allah, not Serapis Christus, not Caesar Boys, yeah. You know, not uh, the Hindu god of Sheba, or none of these other entities, man. Only Yahweh by Shemiah Shah, the god of the Bible, man. That's why these idols aren't going to be able to deliver you out of the Lord's hand, That's you know? Right. That's right. As a matter of fact, the Deuteronomy 32 and 39 says that, man. Yep. What you're going to get. This is um Psalms 96 and 4. For the Lord is great. And greatly to be praised, yes. he is to be feared above all gods. Right, because Yah by Shemiah, look at the records, man. Did that scripture even need explanatory, man? Did that, that scripture need to be explained, man? You know, look at what Yah by Shemiah Shah did. Yah by Shemiah Shah flooded the whole earth and only saved only eight souls, man. Yah by Shemiah Shah destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Yah by Shemiah Shah destroyed the heathen nations for our sake, man. You know? Yahweh Shemar Shah has done a lot of wonderful and great works, man. That's why he is worthy to be praised and ultimately feared, man. You know, because he's the only true living power, man. You know, that puts people to death and makes them alive. Yep. And it reads, verse um, five. verse 5, for all the gods of the nations are idols. Right. You look up that word, idol means false god, pretty much. Right. But the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, made the heavens. Exactly, man. Everything that you see, Yahweh Shema Shai has made it, man. See, what the difference is between the, the heathen nation gods and Yahweh Shema Shai is that Yahweh Shema Shai didn't need, like, like, like people to create him, man. You know? But, but like, uh, Buddha, you know, Allah, you know, Santa Maria, all these other gods, man, uh, they were, they were, man, they are man made, man. Like the brother said, they're pretty much false gods, man. Mm hmm. Created by the hands of man. They can't do nothing, man. Real quick, this is Exodus 7 and 10. Right. And Moses and Aaron went in unto Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. And they and they did so as the Lord had commanded. Yep. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants. And it became a serpent. Right. See, and this is what happens when you obey Yahweh by Shem Shah. See, that's spiritual right there, man. See, if we would have obeyed Yahweh Shemar Shah, we wouldn't have been in the predicament that we're in today. We would have had spiritual powers just like that, man, right about now, mm -hmm. you know? But, but 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 we went off. We've been rebellious. And now we're at the bottom of the uh, of the food chain, man, you know? But soon enough, Yahweh Shemar Shah is going to put us back up. That's right. And it reads, verse 11, Then Pharaoh also called the wise men mm -hmm. and the sorcerers. Yep. Now the magicians of the Egyptians. Now the ma magicians of Egypt, they did in like manner with their enchantments, right. for they cast down every man his rod, yep. and they became serpents. Right, but they did that on the left hand side, though, mm -hmm. man. They serving Satan, man. You know, and Satan works for Yahweh, Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. That's who, uh, that's who sent Moses and Aaron, man, to free the children of Israel, man. Yep. It's the point right here. But mm -hmm. Aaron's rod yep. swallowed up their rods. Yep. And his heart, and he hardened Pharaoh's heart that he hearkened not onto them as the Lord had said. That's right, man. See, Aaron's rod swallowed up the Egyptians' rod, man. You know, because they, 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 both of their rods became serpents, man. 
But Yahabashimi Shah's power prevailed over theirs, man. So Yahabashimi Shah hard and Pharaoh's heart, man. You know, you can you could just put yourself in that predicament how Pharaoh felt, man. He was like, man, damn it, man. You know, how is this possible? Like, 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 who do they serve, man? You know, but in the, in the beginning, before uh, Moses even went on his journey, the Lord said he was going to harden Pharaoh's heart. You know what I'm saying? So he can uh, show his power, man. That's right. Um, real quick, Slack. So yeah, you good, bro? Yeah, con. Yeah. So this this whole lesson is centered around. Uh, let's see if these other guys are going to save you, man. Because we're reading all the wonders that Yahabashim al Shah did for us. And proving that Yahabashim al Shah is above all gods, man. You know? Yep. This is, um, there's a little, I'm going to reverse uh, 1 Kings 18 chapters a little bit. Okay. A couple of verses. Okay. As 1 Kings chapter 18, I'm going to start at verse 22. Mm -hmm. Then said Elijah unto the people, mm -hmm. I even I only remain. A prophet unto the Lord, mm -hmm. but Baal's prophets are four hundred and fifty men. <laughs> let them therefore give us two bullocks, and let them choose one bullock for themselves, mm -hmm. and cut it in pieces, and lay it on wood, and put no fire under, and I will dress the other bullock, mm -hmm. and lay it on wood, and put no fire under. Right. And call ye on the name of your gods, right. and I will call on the name of Yahweh by Shema Shai, right. and the God that answered by fire, let him be the power, and all the people answered, so I let him be the most high, and all the people answered and said, it is well spoken. Right, they agree. So they're demonstrating a test, you know? Yeah. What, we're going to see whose gods are true. We're going to see yeah. if your guy is true, then he's going to be able to light this fire, you know? Right, right. But if my guy is true, he's going to be able to light the fire, you right. know? This is a great story right here. I love, <laughs> I love this story. I love this part, man. And Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, it's like, um, verse 26, mm -hmm. and they took the bullock which was chosen them, mm -hmm. which was given them, mm -hmm. and they dressed it and called unto the name of Baal from the morning Mm. Onto the mm. evening, wow. saying, mm. Oh, Baal, hear us. But there was no voice finished, <laughs> <laughs> nor any that answered. Yeah, because their idols are fake. Yeah, and man. they leaped up upon the altar which was made. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them See? and said, Cry aloud. For he is a god. Either he is talking or he is pursuing mm -hmm. or he is in a journey or per, per venture he sleepeth and must be awakened. He's telling them to cry yeah, loudly. Yo, exactly, he can't hear you. Exactly. Like, maybe he's dead. Maybe your guy's deaf, man. Yeah. Like, maybe, you should, maybe you should speak a little louder, man. Maybe your guy will hear you then. Because, you know, Elias is a jake, man. That's he's, the same thing we do nowadays. Yeah, he's mocking them, you Yeah. Because he already knows what the deal is. Yeah. And he and they cried aloud and cut themselves mm. after this manner mm. with knives and latches till the blood gushed out upon them. Mm. They were here cutting themselves for their guys to hear them. And who they remind you of. They remind you of uh, what they do today, man, for the... Uh, uh, Satan's Satan. prayer, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those blood sacrifices yeah. and things. And they cried aloud on um it's like verse 29. And it came to pass when midday was passed, mm -hmm. and the prophet and they prophesied unto the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that there was neither voice mm -hmm. nor any to answer, mm -hmm. nor any that were guarded. Mm -hmm. And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him, and he repaired, repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took twelve stones, according mm -hmm. to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, yep. unto whom the Lord Yahweh came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. Yep. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. And he made a trench about the altar mm -hmm. as great as would c contain two measures of seed. Yeah. 
and put the wood in order and cut the bullock in pieces and laid him on the wood and said, Fill four barrels with water and pour it on the burnt sacrifice mm-hmm. on, on the wood. So let's see what's going to happen. He said, Pour water on the wood. Yeah. And they and he said, Do it the second time. Yep. And they did it the second time, and he said, Do it the third time. And they did it the third time, and the water ran about the altar, and he filled the trench also with water. So he built the trench around the altar and filled mm-hmm. it all with water. Mm-hmm. And it came to pass at the time of the offer, offering of the evening sacrifice that the Elijah the prophet came near and said, Yahweh by Shema Shai, yep. power of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, yep. let it be known this day yep. that thou art Yahweh mm-hmm. in Israel, yeah, that thou art the power in Israel, yep. and that I am thy servant, yep. and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Yahweh, hear me, that this people may know that thou art Yahweh power, and that thou hast turned their hearts back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and licked up the water that was in the trench. Right. And that's, that's spiritual power right there, man. <laughs> See, we have a spiritual power in the names of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, not God and Jesus Christ, man. You know, when we call upon the names of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, you know, that's spiritual power, man. You know? And then plus he's giving us the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of the scriptures. So we have superpowers through the word, man. Yeah, the Lord confounded those idols, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like we do today, man. Anybody that comes against the men of the Lord, they get confounded, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Because we got spiritual power through the word, man. But soon we're going to have real physical power. I mean, spiritual power, man. That's right. Be able to pick these buildings up and throw them on people, man. <laughs> this is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. Yep. See now that I... Even I am he, yeah. and there is no God with me. Right, so Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria, the Hindu god of Sheba, uh, who was King to Haile Selassie, or none of these other pagan gods are up there with Yahweh by Shimei Shai, man. Mm-hmm. That's right. They call the shots up there, not your not your pagan gods. I kill, and I make alive. Oh, but I thought the God of the Bible was all about love, though, man. He wouldn't dare her to fly, man. But you people must not remember what he did to the whole earth, how he flooded it, mm-hmm. and killed the majority of the people and only left eight people alive. The scripture says that the Lord killeth and maketh alive, man. So it no matter how a person dies, Yahweh Shimei Shah did it, man. You know what I'm I wound and I heal. Right, so if, if Yahweh Shimei Shah wants you to get injured, man, where do your bones break, you get bruised up real bad, but you're alive, you're breathing, ain't you? That's a wound, man. But Yahweh Shimon Shah is the only one that can heal you from those wounds, not the doctors, man. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So, right. So, if it's your time to go, man, it is your doggone time to go, man. Hey, uh, a lot of people like to worship uh, that man, uh, uh, Dr. Sebi. You know what I'm saying? He was supposed to be uh, so-called really, really healthy, you know? But, hey, Yahweh Shimon Shah took him out, man. Mm-hmm. You know? It don't matter how healthy you are, man. If Yahweh Shimon Shah... Says it's your time to go back to the spirit world. It is your time to dog on go, man. And there ain't nothing that you can say, do, or think about it, man. That's right. This is back in Judges 10 and 13. Mm-hmm. Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods. Right. Wherefore, I would deliver you no more. Yep. And especially in these last days, two-thirds of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that will continue trusting in these idols. Yep. I mean, we brought up a few examples, you know, yep. just a few Examples is what happens when you uh, trust in these idols and don't trust in the Lord. You know, you get confounded, you know. That's right. Ultimately, in these last days, you are going to be judged. And your judgment is going to be uh, death by famine. These race riots, you know, martial law troops yeah. uh, p- putting you in these guillotines and chopping your head off. Yeah. You know, many judgments are going to be for you, uh, rebellious people. And the uh, cherry on top is going to be uh, those ICBM nuclear missiles that's going to be shot off from Russia, yep. you know, China, Iran. Yep, yep. You know, even America's allies are going to turn on them. Right. But you really think Japan forgot about what happened with Hiroshima and Nagasaki, man? Do you really think they forgot about that? And first of all, a lot of people don't even know that they dropped those bombs after the peace treaty, man. You know? So you really think Japan is going to forget about that? 
No, man. If Japan's gonna shoot nuclear missiles on America, man, you know, that's that's if the Lord does save the Bible. Yep. Verse 14. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Right. Let them deliver to you in right. the time of your tribulation. Right. So when the time of Jacob's trouble, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and you confusion their faces, man. I want to see if Jesus Christ is going to deliver you during the time when the martial law troops come in, man. I want to see uh, who you call Jesus Christ come and, 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 and how should I say, what, that rapture, they say. Yeah. And let, let's see if you, you can float up in the air, man. Let's see, man. <laughs> nah, you'll get a big old F-16 in your mouth, man. You know, you're going to get a size, what, 16, 17 boot right in your chest. You know, that's what you're going to get, man. You know, but the prophecy, you high by Shimei Asha, Lord's willing, we're going to we be at that number, man. You know, we're going to be taken care of in that day, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because we fear in the names of you high by Shimei Asha while we yet have liberty. Come on, that's all right. I'm going to close down this one. Come on. This is Jeremiah 2 and 28. Mm hmm but where are the gods that ye have? But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Mm -hmm. Let them arise, if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. Right. See, hey, call up, call on Buddha, call on Allah, call on Jesus Christ, call on Serapis. You know, call on all your pagan gods, man. And let's see they're gonna deliver you, man. Let's just see. You mm -hmm. know, we're going to believe in the names of Yahweh by Shimei Shah because we know that Yahweh by Shimei Shah exists, man. You know, just like the prophet uh, Elijah, you know, how he already knew he already knew what the results was going to be, man. I know, right? That's why he mocked and scoffed at him. That's why this isn't a number of things either. He was like, there's 450 prophets by right. all. It's one and one in me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. You know, that That's was... why the scripture says, uh, I will laugh at your calamity. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're going to do that through the prophets, man. That's right. We're going to be mocking the crap out of you people, man. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to be scary, but it's going to be funny as crap at the same time, man. And it reads, For according to the number of thy seeds are the, are thy gods, O Judah. You know? Mm -hmm. So you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, we proved through the scriptures that Yahweh Shema and Shai is the only true power. Yep. So, you know, you need to stop turning you from your idols, you know, and repent. You yeah. know, turn back to Yahweh Shema Hashem and put away those false idols, you know, before the Lord comes back and destroys this place, you know, because those idols are not going to be able to save you, your money, your riches, the right. things you put your trust in. Right. If, you don't, if you're not putting your trust in the Lord, you know, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son, mm -hmm. you are not going to be protected when all hell is breaking loose. Right. It says Isaiah 33 and 6 that the wisdom of knowledge shall be the stability of that times, man. You know? So uh, having the names of Yahweh by Shimei Asha and this knowledge is going to keep us stable during those times that Jacob's trouble is going to be around, man. You know? That's right. So, hey, like the brother beautiful said to the spirit, man, it's time to it's time to come back to Yahweh by Shimei Asha. Like, like how, how the leader of I can't like to say, not now, but right now. <laughs> you know? Right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> So, hey, with that, hey, Lord willing, you brothers a farewell through the spirit of power of Yahweh by Shimei Shah by this beautiful lesson that me and the brother Azad did through the spirit. Before we close out, we want to give all honor and glory and praises to our heavenly father and to his only begotten son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone. And peace, blessings, and safety and mercy to the Yachims out there pushing the Jew from the four corners of the earth. With that, Shalom, Kwame Asherala. Shalom.